What's going on YouTube? Darkroommofo here, and as you guys can see in front of me, we have a duel between Siggy the Piggy and Luke Randy. And this is a duel um, from a box tournament from Weigo Organization, and this is the finals of the box tournament. It is a Judgment of the Light box tournament, and um, this is a finals between uh, my friend Siggy the Piggy. You guys obviously know him as TCG Pirate uh, Weasel and Luke Randy. So, as you guys are watching this duel, I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about... Um, this tournament and who, who hosts it and uh, what they're doing for the community and uh, how awesome it is, I guess I could say. But um, so let's start off. Why go organization? They um, are pretty much a group of experienced players, uh, judges who just want to help better the community and um, share their knowledge with the community. So we don't have any more um, ignorance in the community, such as. Um, bad judges who are giving wrong rulings or just uh, people who really don't know what they're doing but think they know what they're doing because they have that ego and um, these people are trying to kind of just tone that down and kind of just have everything equal and balanced and have all the right things being said so that the game can be fair and the game can be fun um, they also host tournaments, they write articles, they're partnered with a lot of awesome people um, they're just starting out, they're just starting to get a little bit big and I decided to talk to him last night because Eaton told me how he won their box tournament. And I was like, oh, okay, these guys are cool. I've seen their website before. They have uh, they obviously sparked a little bit of attention when they first started. And so I messaged one of the um, one of the people, and I asked him if he wanted to get something going, you know, help them out on YouTube a little bit, and, uh, you know, they helped me out in some way on their Facebook page, website, etc. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I'm kind of, kind of just uh, showing you guys this final duel because it was a very amazing duel. Um, or match, I should say, sorry, between uh, Dragon Plants and Evil Swarms, and then as you guys just saw, Siggy the Piggy just won game one. But anyway, yeah, um, they do some awesome stuff, and uh, make sure to check out their website in the description, their Facebook page, make sure to give that a like to see other updates and articles, etc., and make sure to subscribe to their YouTube, and if you guys haven't already subscribed to me, um, do that as well. But yeah, uh, hopefully in the future, me and the organization can do some more things together and uh, kind of get some things going and kind of better the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, community through YouTube, through Facebook, through their website. Um, yeah, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I really, really like what they're doing. Um, it's always better to have um, correct things being said and ha uh, not having people being misinformed because that's never good because when they get misinformed, they think that it's right, and then they go on and spread that, and it's just a uh, pandemic, and it's not looking um, too good, no pun intended, uh, Siggy the Piggy. But anyway, um, yeah, please be sure to check out their stuff. Um, they're, uh, they're awesome guys. I actually know one of the guys personally, um, Atem. He, uh, I've actually met him before with Siggy the Piggy uh, down in southern Ohio at um, No Limit Gaming TCG. And uh, he was a really cool guy, and uh, he's incredibly intelligent uh, when it comes to this game, and obviously when it comes to other stuff, but uh, he really, really does know him, his stuff, and uh, he's a really cool guy to talk to. But yeah, uh, I don't have too much to say else, um, but I definitely uh, really urge you guys to go on and check out what's going on on their site, Facebook page, and YouTube, definitely, um, because they're doing some cool stuff, and... Uh, it's exciting to see, especially with this new format, all these things popping up. I feel like this game is really like getting that energy back that it needed so that people would fall in love with the game again and become addicted to it and just have a great time overall. But anyway, let's get to the duel. So this is game two. Um, Evil Storms won game one uh, with uh, Dragon Plants. Well, or, or, well, that's what I call it, Dragon Plants not uh, drawing so well and not having too many optimal plays. And then, as you can see right here, he hits him with a crucial MST with his in, uh, infestation, and he minuses one. So then it kind of just battles back and forth a little bit. He's taking some damage, trying to draw into an out, and it's not looking too, too good. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's extremely humid outside, and uh, the weather's not being too friendly. But, you know, I'm in here recording for you guys, because you guys obviously know I need to. I can't be lazy anymore. 
So then he tries to summon Tempest and bottomlesses it, which is good. Um, it looks like he might change around a little bit. With um, Siggy finally having a monster to be able to play. And then uh, Luke Randy sets a monster. And uh, usually when a monster is being set in Dragon Plant, it's either something with a big defense or a dandelion or something like that. So he attacks, and it was the ferret guy, which destroys the monster that it battled with or something like that. I'm not really sure its exact effect, but I know it has an effect like that to get rid of uh, Ophion. Because obviously dragon rulers have a huge problem with Ophion. Siggy ribs a defissure, and then attempts to attack into Luke Randy's face-down monster, and it turns out to be Morphing Jar number 2. <laughs> He mills a max C, sets it face down, passes. So now the game kind of switched a little bit. Um, there's no monster that's really scaring um, Luke Randy. And he just popped his torrential back row, which was uh, very crucial. So then he does uh, banishes Blaster, sets the uh, Flamefall Guard that he just searched. And here we are back to pretty much square one, kind of just fighting back and forth, seeing who can kind of come up with a play first, exchanging cards. Siggy summons a rescue rabbit. <laughs> Everybody's saying in the watchers chat if you guys are even reading it, why is Siggy so good, etc., etc. I thought that was pretty funny. But you know, Evil Storms are a good deck. I think they're going to be phenomenal next format. Um, they just have so much control and they have really nice consistency. But uh, sadly, last format they couldn't do that because of how much power all the top decks, or well, how. Uh, how the top two decks had all the power, they couldn't really keep up. But I feel like in this kind of slower format, more balanced format, Evil Storm is going to be able to dominate a little bit, especially against Dragon Ruler Plants and um, other decks that have to special summon level 5 or higher. Leveling Catastrophe for a plus three. That was nuts. This was an awesome play. He pitches a Wind and Tempest to search a Redox, pitches two Redoxes to get the Ferret, destroys his Ophion, and Sigu's like, I'm going to lose here. So then we're going into game three. The winner of this game determines who will win the Box of Judgment of Light. Pretty exciting. Being in box tournaments when it's single elimination is uh, pretty scary. I think the way they have... The, these box tournaments set up is they have them three times a week at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I think it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but this week they're actually doing one tomorrow, which I will be covering. I'm going to be recording the finals and some interesting uh, duels uh, for that tournament. And I think it's four rounds, so I think it's probably just eight people drafts. It's $10 to enter, so you pretty much just have to win four in a row. And just to let you guys know, Siggy the Piggy... My friend Ethan, the game that he just lost is uh, the first game that he lost this entire tournament. This was the first one that he lost his entire f entire tournament, sorry. <laughs> Apparently, he had been undefeated 2-0 all of his opponents until this game. So then this next game decides if he will win the box and only lose one game the entire tournament, or will he lose it right here and um, kind of give it away to Luke Randy and not win the box of Judgment of Light. But box tournaments are fun, like I said. Uh, I like playing in sing single elimination. It puts a lot of pressure on you. Make sure you don't mess up. And if you do mess up, it can really hurt you. And uh, you have no one to blame but yourself. Especially with this new format. This is a new format, obviously. Um, as you guys have seen, you haven't seen any of the... What are soon to be banned cards. But yeah, so it's $10 to enter four rounds, single elimination, win four in a row, and you win the box.
I'm so not used to seeing Dragon Ruler set so many cards. It's interesting. But anyway, guys, um, as you guys can see, this video is coming to an end in a few minutes. So I just want to um, once again tell you or ask you rather to check out uh, the organization's Facebook page, like it, YouTube page, subscribe to it, website, check it out, favorite it, look for all their updates on the site, read some stuff, learn some stuff. They're really doing some awesome stuff and I'm uh, I'm excited to be partnered with them or well, um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that yet, but I'm excited to hopefully get something going in the future with them, helping each other out, both benefiting from this um, because it's going to be awesome. They're not as big as me yet, but um, I'm more than happy to help them out because what they're doing is an awesome cause. They're really trying to make this game fun again, trying to give people the knowledge that they need to have um, so that wrong things don't appear anymore. And uh, I'm 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 game. I'm game 100%, and that's why I'm showing you guys this. So if you guys are interested, make sure to go check out those links in my description, and uh, make sure to make sure to stay posted. And uh, I'm almost positive you guys are going to be seeing my name on their Facebook page, website, etc. So be sure to look out for that because it's because it's kind of cool. And if you guys have anything, if you guys have anything to benefit, if you guys want to help out the organization, shoot them a message on their Facebook. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they would be more than happy to uh, hear something that they haven't heard yet that could help better the community. Um, who wouldn't, especially when they're doing this kind of thing. So anyway, guys, this duel is coming to an end. He mind controls Debris Dragon, attacks for 1950, and then overlays into King of the Feral Imps and gets it compulsed. And now it's looking like, okay, Lou Grandy has a plus one right now and just summoned the uh, Tether, Tether Copter, I think that's what his name is. And that is not looking too good. Then he summons Redox, and it's like, okay, he can attack and then go into a Drago Sack, but he activates, goes and match on the attack declaration. Siggy so draws, sets pass. He attacks again, takes another 17. End phase, MST is his middle one, which is uh, DDR. Ribs the Rota. Summons the cast door, attacks the token. The attack goes through. Summons another cast door. Attacks into the tether copter thing. And he is low on life. Luke Randy sets one and passes. It is Ethan's turn. He draws, attacks with cast door, and attacks with the other one for game. Eats and Guau wins the box. Congrats, man. Uh, you're an awesome Evil Storm player, guys. Thank you so much for watching.